All right, I'm um, going to make a video on how to install a lanyard uh, kill switch on your ATV. Um, I'm actually in the process of making a video on installing my new handlebars uh, on my quad also. Uh, so I'm kind of doing both, but they'll be separate videos. And I'm also going to do a quick one on how to change the decompression uh, cable. Uh, goes onto your decompression handle right here. So I'm going to show how to do that too. That'll probably be a separate video also. But anyhow, back to, to this video. Um, I'm going to install a lanyard style uh, kill switch. This style here, if you happen to fall off the quad, um, it'll pull this red thing off and it'll, it'll kill the ATV. Uh, and it's also got a regular kill button if you just want to shut down. Um, I mean, this has an engine running off switch but uh, the reason I'm installing this is because the uh, MX track that I bring my son to to ride his Honda CR125, uh, they do allow uh, sport four-wheelers, so I want to bring mine, you know, so I can ride while he's there and gives me something to do and I can be out on a track watching him too. So, uh, but one of their, well, a couple of their requirements. One is uh, Nerf bars, which I just restored those and installed. Uh, lanyard uh, kill switch they want. And uh, I think that's it. You know, as far as ATVs, all the other safety equipment that you would normally have on a on a regular uh, dirt bike. But anyhow, we're going to install this kill switch. Um, they're not that difficult. You just got to know where to tie into. And uh, so we're going to get that started. So this will be around your wrist. Um, they do sell wristbands. I'll probably just wrap this around my glove and hook it to the other side. Um, so anyhow, if you go, if you happen to fall off the quad, hopefully you don't. That should pull. It takes a little bit of effort, which is good because you don't want to stall it, you know, accidentally when you're out riding. Um, but believe me, if you fall off, that's that's going to yank off of there. Okay, we're continuing on uh, with the kill switch. Got my manual out uh, for the 230S. And you come to the wiring diagram. And basically, my plan is, is to tie it into the engine stop switch. Um, that is that guy right there. And that's basically what kills it now. Um, when you're on run, you can kick start it and do your thing. and off to turn it off pretty basic so pretty much the kill switch is doing the same thing or it is doing the same thing so we're going to tie into that and that's this guy here the engine stop switch uh, we got a black wire with a yellow tracer that's the by and we got a black wire with a white tracer uh, bw and if you follow this wiring harness out of that switch they go into the headlight box there's a lot going on here they kind of use this as a junction box as well as the wiring for the lighting obviously so in here we're going to look for that black wire uh, with the white tracer and black wire with the yellow tracer and I believe there's the black and yellow and there's the black and white so my idea is and I don't have the connectors with me. They're up in the house, but I'm going to go get those. Uh, I don't want to cut these wires. Um, I got these connectors that, that go over the wire, and you can slide a new wire into it, and I'll show you. You, you compress them, and it basically pierces uh, the insulation. That way you don't actually have to cut the wire. If I ever take this off, I don't want to have to have another connection somewhere. Already I found this connection disconnected, and both of these were tied up with tape. Wherever the tape went. They had it all taped up, so I don't know what that was about. It looks like an old ground for something. Maybe they had an accessory on here or a grounding issue at one time. But whatever it is has been disconnected and taped, and I haven't had any issues. So, All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get those fittings, and I'll be back.
going to take this wiring harness off the new kill switch and we're going to run it into the headlight basket. And then I'll take that, I'll actually put it through these ties and uh, make it nice and neat. That's the connector we're going to use. It's got two holes. On the left hand side you can see that goes all the way through. So that's going to slide on your existing wire and the right hand side you'll see a plastic stop in there. That's where you put your new wire. Make sure it goes all the way back to hit that plastic stop. And once you do that, you can take that metal piece and a pair of good pliers and squeeze that down and that's going to pierce the insulation. And then once that's done you just close your cap, that'll snap tight and uh, you got yourself a nice good connection. You're going to take your other wire. Um, you don't need to strip this because that's going to pierce the insulation. Um, the other one is just going to slide on there for now. Stick that guy in there until it dead ends. It's actually going to go on this side. And push. Make sure you push it in until it won't go in anymore. Take a pair of pliers. These aren't the best pliers for the job, but it's what I have handy. squeeze hat to it goes all the way flat and that's it take your cap snap that in place and then there's your connection All right, so they're both connected. Um, again, you know, from looking at our, our wiring diagram, um, we got the black with the yellow tracer and the black with the white tracer. They're the same wires that are hooked up to the original on-off switch. So we just tied in with those, and if everything goes well, when we start this and we either pull this off, um, where'd you go? Right there. When this guy pulls off, it should should kill the the quad. Uh, and also in the front, get over there. You also have a regular push button. All right, I'm getting ready to test this now. Um, everything's wired up. I still got to put the headlight and everything back in, but um, I just want to give a quick rundown of what's really going on here with your kill switch. Um, you have your original kill switch. There we go. Um, when you have it in the run position, it's actually, that switch is normally open. So in other words, it's just like a wall switch in your house, but it's open. So the quad can start, it can go through its CDI box and through the coil and the magneto and, you know, the, the bike is running. So what happens here with your on-off switch is when you shut that to off, you're taking those two wires that we're looking at a little while ago, that, uh, the two black wires, the one with the yellow and the one with the white. And when you shut that to off, it's just like closing a switch, you know, when you're turning a light on in your house. Once you close that switch, basically what you're doing is you're, you're shorting your spark to ground, and that's what's killing it. And all we did by adding this was we tied into that same circuit. Um, so right now, this is plugged in, uh, and that's on run. So this is open. When this is on there, it's open. When this gets pulled off, if you fall off, or if you happen to pull it off, that closes. That'll kill the quad. And also, it has the kill switch button. When you push that in, uh, it does the same thing. So basically, that's all you're doing. You're really shorting your spark to ground at the end of the day. Um, and we just tied into the same place that this was tied into. So I'm going to go ahead and try to start this while holding the camera.
that's that. Um, if I go ahead and put this back on, it should start back up. And obviously that does the same thing, it kills it. So they're both working. Um, the switch still works uh, just like it used to. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, obviously you have a different type of quad, your, your color and schemes are gonna be different, but just try to find out where your original on off switch is wired. Um, if you have a print, that's obviously gonna be helpful. Um, but it's, it's that simple.